The journey of a STEM immigrant is shaped by more than just technical expertise. It is defined by courage, adaptability, and the willingness to pursue possibility, even when the path is uncertain. Every year, thousands of international students arrive in the United States on F-1 visas, carrying aspirations for academic excellence and a future built through perseverance. But the landscape they are stepping into is shifting rapidly. In this episode, we investigate four interconnected stories that define this new reality. But one major question looms over all these developments, a question we will answer at the very end of this video. With heightened scrutiny and stricter enforcement, is the United States closing its doors to global innovation? Or is it silently building a more robust foundation for the future? Before we uncover our first story, if you want to stay ahead of the latest immigration trends and news, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I want to hear from you. What is the biggest source of anxiety in your immigration journey right now? Is it the job market, the visa paperwork, or the uncertainty of the future? Let us know in the comments below. Our first investigation takes us into the lived reality behind the paperwork. We follow the path of Pradik Ashutosh Satput, a science student at the University of California, Irvine, who arrived in the U.S. with the same mix of excitement and anxiety felt by thousands each year. His memoir, F1, A Student in the Land of the Free, strips away the glamour often associated with studying abroad to expose the raw, unpolished truth of the immigrant experience. Pradik's account reveals that for STEM students, the challenge is far greater than just mastering technical coursework. He describes an academic environment that demands aggressive independence, where American STEM programs prioritize critical thinking, open dialogue with professors, and group collaboration. For many international students, this model is refreshing but jarring, requiring them to decode new cultural norms while navigating deep personal transformation. Beyond the classroom, Critic documents the severe financial discipline required to survive, balancing the high cost of living with strict visa regulations that limit employment options. It is a narrative not of overnight success, but of small, steady victories, managing homesickness, overcoming misunderstandings, and evolving from a student into a resilient professional. This evolution is critical to long-term success. As attorney Chris M. Ingram observes, the F1 path isn't defined by where you start. It's defined by who you become along the way. Every challenge an international student overcomes becomes a foundation for the career, confidence, and contribution they will build next. We want to know about your experience. For those of you already studying or working in the US, what was the single biggest culture shock you faced during your first semester? Was it the teaching style, the food, or the social interactions? Share your story in the comments. Product's journey serves as a powerful reminder. While the F-1 visa grants you entry to the country, it is your own courage and adaptability that ultimately build your future. If you are navigating these complex immigration hurdles, you don't have to do it alone. The right legal guidance can be the difference between a rejection and a breakthrough. Visit BreakthroughUSA.com right now to start your visa journey. You can book a free consultation with the law offices of Chris M. Ingram and get the clarity you need to move forward with confidence. In our second story, we look at a growing trend changing the workplace 
for STEM professionals, surprise site visits. In late 2025, reports confirmed that U.S. authorities intensified unannounced inspections targeting international students on Optional Practical Training, or OPT, and workers on H-1B visas. The goal is program integrity, making sure the job being done matches what's on file. Before we dive into the story, what is OPT? OPT allows international students to legally work in the U.S. for up to one year after applying. Students in STEM fields can extend that by two more years, for a total of three. During this time, many hope to impress employers and secure sponsorship for the coveted H-1B visa. While recent H-1B fees increased, the change was announced as temporary and future policy shifts could bring more favorable terms. For STEM workers, this scrutiny is detailed. Officers are now asking specific questions. Does this data analyst actually manage machine learning pipelines? Is this robotic student performing the engineering tasks described in their training plan or just debugging software? For employers, discrepancies in job location or duties can lead to immediate demands for clarification. It creates an environment where a lack of preparation can be mistaken for non-compliance. However, experts emphasize that these visits are not inherently adversarial. They are opportunities to prove the legitimacy of your work. As attorney Chris M. Ingram explains, the goal is sustainability. A well-run system protects everyone. When students and professionals stay prepared and employers uphold their responsibilities, integrity checks become opportunities to show that global STEM talent is not just welcome here. It is essential. This brings us to a critical question for our viewers working on OPT or H-1B. If an officer walked into your workplace today, would your current daily tasks match the job description filed with USCIS? Let us know in the comments if you and your employer have discussed this recently. The takeaway is clear. In this new era of enforcement, excellence in your field is not enough. Clarity and consistency in your documentation are just as vital. Our third story uncovers a quiet but massive shift in the system. In late 2025, USCIS established a new centralized vetting center in Atlanta. Its specific mandate? To strengthen national security screening and fraud detection across the board. This isn't about new laws. It's about deeper enforcement. By consolidating background checks, USCIS can now cross-reference your academic history, research, and work experience with far greater speed and precision. For STEM professionals, the message is critical. Your digital footprint must match your official filings perfectly. Vague discrepancies that once slid by are now easy targets for a centralized system. Attorney Chris M. Ingram sees this as a move towards stability. When USCIS strengthens its screening systems, it isn't trying to intimidate applicants. It's reinforcing the integrity of the pathways that scientists and engineers depend on. Clear, honest documentation allows STEM immigrants to shine for the right reasons. Here is our question for you. If USCIS compared your LinkedIn profile to your past visa applications right now, would they tell the exact same story? Let us know in the comments. The takeaway? In this new era, Consistency isn't just a preference, it is your strongest defense. Our final story steps back to look at the undeniable economic engine driving all of this. Despite the increased scrutiny we've discussed, the economic data from the past 90 days confirms one absolute truth. 
the United States cannot meet its technological ambitions without international talent. While hiring in some software sectors has slowed, the demand in critical fields like clean energy, cybersecurity, and AI infrastructure is expanding. New chip fabrication plants in states like Arizona and Ohio are facing critical shortages in fabrication engineering and lithography, roles that domestic pipelines simply cannot fill fast enough. Nations like Canada and the UK are actively streamlining their visa options to poach the very engineers the US needs. Consequently, US employers are not backing down. They are investing more in compliance to retain the global researchers who fuel this innovation. Attorney Chris M. Ingram summarizes this dynamic powerfully. Every major breakthrough in science and technology comes from people who choose to show up, persist, and contribute. Immigrant innovators are part of that story. No matter how complex the process feels, your work has value, and this country needs your brilliance. We want to hear from the job seekers. In your specific niche, are you seeing a shortage of skilled workers or has the market saturated? Tell us which industry you are in and what the hiring climate looks like on the ground. The data is clear. The doors may be harder to open, but what lies behind them is an economy that is hungrier for your talent than ever before. We started this episode with a difficult question. With heightened scrutiny, surprise visits, and centralized vetting, is the United States closing its doors to global innovation? The answer, based on the evidence, is no. The United States is not closing its doors. It is maturing its systems. The government is investing in program integrity precisely because these immigration pathways are essential for the nation's economic survival. The rules have changed, but the potential for those who are prepared, transparent, and resilient remains as limitless as ever. If you found this report helpful, please like this video and subscribe. It helps us continue to bring you the investigations that matter. And remember, if you need help navigating this new landscape, visit BreakthroughUSA.com to book your free consultation. I'll see you in the next episode.